Hi, my name is Matthew Belisario. Welcome back to the Belisario Sonic YouTube channel from the heart of the Deep South on the outskirts of Birmingham, Alabama. Here we talk about music, records, do needle drops, record reviews, interviews, all things to do with great music. Today I'm going to be doing a review of this really cool album by Andreas Tofmark, a Danish saxophonist and composer, and this is called A New York Flight. Picked this up on Amazon. I've been listening to this streaming in my car. A wonderful album. Another one of these obscure records that you might be interested in knowing about since these get very little attention paid to in the vinyl community. Um, this is on the April Records label. And if you guys missed the review I did of this astounding album, this trio here, Rasmus Sorensen, if you missed that, go back and check out this review. This is a fantastic Blazing Trio album. If you're into the Bill Evans Trio, that type of sound, I think you're really going to dig this. This particular album we're talking about today is a quartet. And this is the Danish saxophonist and composer who has lived in a lot of different places, but he's lived in New York. Spent four years in New York, a few years in Amsterdam, Spent time in Sweden, has played with a lot of giants such as Eric Alexander, and has performed the world with, with guys like Peter Bernstein, um, Ethan Iverson, a lot of modern jazz players. But this right here is a New York flight. And again, I've been listening to this streaming, riding around in my car, and I thought it was a fantastic record. So when I saw it on Amazon, I went ahead and picked it up. And I do recommend the music. I don't know how this particular pressing is going to be. The Rasmus Sorensen pressing was a, a pretty good pressing. So I'm expecting this to be the same. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And we're going to do a needle drop on this on the Fluence RT85 with the Ortofon Blue. Going through my Shipmani preamp into my Yamaha HS8 speakers. And this is more kind of a straight ahead jazz record with a modern flair to it. I'll let you be the judge when I drop the uh, needle. That's one of the things that I, I think makes this channel a bit unique is I don't have to ex explain to you what the music sounds like. I can drop the needle on it and let you guys listen to it for yourselves and make your own judgment call. You can get my reaction on, on the record itself, what kind of, you know, pressing it is, that kind of thing, what kind of production, how it sounds, all that good stuff. And Hopefully, you get exposed to some new music you might not know about. Now, I do do, if you missed some of my recent reviews, I did, you know, I do a lot of reissues reviews as well. But I have been trying to get in a lot of reviews on modern artists, modern jazz artists that I feel deserve attention that they're not getting. So, I really like keeping up with modern releases, and so here we go. We're going to drop this on and have a listen. Now, this uh, guy, Andreas Toffmark, also has a new album out. This is a 2021 release, and there is a new uh, album out that came out, I think, last year called Lagar, and by, by him. So there is a newer release available. I have not picked that one up yet. It's also available on Amazon. I've just been buying so many records that I literally can't keep up with everything so this comes in a this is the inner sleeve that came with the record so we're going to go ahead and slide out the record it is a slick inner sleeve so you know i could probably leave it in there but i don't like like it's so tight and i don't like the way sliding it in and out might scratch the record up so i just put it end up putting it in a it's um anti-static inner sleeve so this is the album. Go ahead and spray it off with some distilled water. And then I'm gonna drop it on, we'll have a listen. I hope you guys are doing well out there. And I hope that you guys are giving this, this new music a chance. I know a lot of you leave your comments and at least have a listen. And I think that you know, a lot of people are so busy buying the reissues that they forget that there's a lot of great jazz being made right now. A lot of great players making great records right now. And so, you know, I was laying in bed again one night going through Amazon uh, streaming and listening to different bands. And I ran across 
this album on Amazon streaming and I really dug it and I've been listening to it now for a couple of weeks on and off in my car and I decided to go ahead and, and buy it. And so it's been sitting here for a week or so. So let's go ahead and drop it on. We're going to listen to a New York flight. Now I think there's four, two originals, I think, and there are four um, covers on here. So I'll go ahead and, uh, talk about the songs here in a moment. So let me go ahead and drop this on and we'll listen. All right, here we go. So these are the four players. So this was recorded August in September 2020 at the Royal Danish Academy of Music Copenhagen and released June 11, 2021. So these covers of this label, they're fairly thin, nothing to write home about as far as the quality of the jacket. See how this sounds here, the recording and everything. I could tell, you know, it's not the quietest pressing. I can hear just a little bit of noise here and there. Nothing so far really bad, but it's it's definitely not an audio file pressing. As far as the recording goes, It's a, it was recorded very nicely. It has a nice mix to it. You, the piano's nice and warm. There's some depth to it. The drums sound nice. Playing is fantastic on this though. Yeah, the bass sounds nice. You can hear the, the fingers on the, it's actually a very nice sounding recording. So, yeah, it's not a bad sounding recording. I, again, it's not on the level of the craft. You know, those OJC recordings, those jazz, those types of recordings. We're not talking about that, that kind of quality or depth or resonance. But for a modern recording, it's a nice sounding album. You can hear everything. It's got some depth to it, some resonance on the drums. Everything is clear. So it's a nice listen. My only complaint would be that if I would like to have it on a better pressing where there's where there's no noise whatsoever. I can hear just a little bit here and there. So as far as whether you pick up the CD or the record, you know, it might not be that huge of a difference, but 
I'm these days I'm buying a lot more records than I am CDs, so I just rather have the record personally. I mean, all these guys can play. Jermaine the EU. What draws me to these new recordings is the music. So hopefully these companies will realize that they need to go ahead and press these at better places. Now, that's just my personal opinion because even though this is not a bad sound recording, it's not like so noisy I can't listen to it. It's just here and there. But it's the playing, it's the musicians, it's, you know, on this channel, it's always more about the actual music. And although I do appreciate audio file pressings, nice sounding albums, of course, uh, or how it was recorded, whether it was analog, all that kind of stuff, the, the, these new recordings, majority of them are recorded digitally, but the music is incredible and people are just missing out because, you know, nobody knows about these guys. If you listen to the playing, whether or not you buy the album, which are still available on Amazon, under 20 bucks, uh, or you can get the CD for 12 bucks. But the music is astounding. These four guys can play. And it's a really nice listen. You got tunes on here, so you've got a New York flight, which we're listening to now, seven and a half minutes. Blue and sentimental, five and a half minutes. Love me or leave me, seven minutes and 20 seconds. That's side one. Side two is called 2023, which is seven minutes and 15 seconds. Autumn in New York, the great standard, 857. And I'm a fool to want you at five minutes and 57 seconds. So there's plenty of room here for these guys to stretch out and play. And if they play, they, they do. So I'm digging it. Check it out. And hopefully I'll be picking up his new record too at some point here when I get some more money and I can afford to buy these other records that I want. There's just too much other stuff coming out, including some Miles Davis box sets that they're putting out. Those Blue Bootleg Series box sets are coming out on the 30th, I think. And those are definitely on my want list. So I can only afford to get so many. So it's a decent sounding recording. Uh, again, you can hear it's quiet. You hear just a tiny bit of surface noise. As far as the record goes, it's fairly flat. It may have a tiny, tiny bit of a of a warp. Nothing that's messing the playing up, you know, the sound. But these, to me, these kinds of recordings deserve the best pressing you can get. Especially with these quieter tunes where you don't want to hear that background noise, you know, you don't want to hear the surface noise. Um, sax sounds nice. Again, I like the sound of the bass. Felix Moe's home on bass. Andreas Svensson on drums. It's like Kyle Brickman on piano. I guess that's how you pronounce his name. I'm bad with these four names. So I got a lot more reviews coming up. A lot of new jazz, a lot of new jazz stuff. So stay tuned. For that a lot of obscure titles new titles that are still available and whenever I run across something that I really like 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 this again fantastic record as well 
I, um, I, I want to promote the music. And so hopefully I'll be getting some interviews with some of these jazz musicians, more of them here coming up. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Talking to them about these records and learning about what went into, went into making them and so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is bring this down. I'm going to put on side two just to flip it over. Get a little bit of uh, a play off the second side here. And we'll close out the video. I appreciate you guys joining me for these. Again, leave your comments. Let me know what you think of these new records. And again, you just have to take the time to sit down and listen to them. And I know that everybody's attention span is, you know, everybody's focusing on all of the re-releases and reissues and all that stuff. And they're fantastic. But we're missing out on a lot of these um, great musicians that are making music right now. This one's called 2023. So it was produced by Heinrich Holst Hansen and Andreas Tolfmark, Tolfmark, and it was mastered by uh, Henrik Heinrich Holst Hansen. And it, I think he did a nice job. It, it sounds good. It's a nice sounding recording for a modern recording. There's a lot of detail you can hear. Straight ahead jazz with a little bit of a modern flair to it. I think you're going to like this album. And again, you got a couple of originals and, you know, classics like Autumn in New York. So, yeah, I'm digging it. coming up. Going to be doing a review of this Ferret Oldman. This is coming up. This David Preston album. Is coming up on Whirlwind Recordings. I'll be opening this up, doing a needle drop on this. And this Venus record by Champion Fulton. I picked this up online recently. I'll be doing a needle drop on this as well. So a lot of new stuff coming up. Guys, joining me. 
leave your comments, give the thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Again, if you're into jazz music or I don't do just jazz, I do, you know, you guys know I do a lot of different genres, but right now I'm very focused on jazz, modern jazz records, releases, and of course doing some of the other ones like the Atlantic 75th Acoustic Sounds. If you missed those, I did all three of the ones that just came out, reviewed those, did needle drops on those, and um, still doing some reissues as well, just not quite as many as I was doing. So last year I bought a ton of reissues, and I've got a lot of them sitting here that I'm going to be reviewing as well. I'm going to be mixing them in with a lot of the new jazz releases. So. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys sharing this music with other people. This channel is all about sharing good music. It's a hobby of mine. It's something I enjoy doing. I've always loved sharing music with other people. When I discover a new record, even when I was a kid, I was always the person to bring the cassette tape around and man, you gotta hear this band. And here I am years later doing the same thing, just doing it on YouTube now. So I appreciate you guys joining me and we'll see you on the next video. Happy listening. Go check this out.